Like, this guy's making dog points. These points are trash, okay? Uh, okay, this guy's a conspiracy theorist, bro. I don't know if it's a bit, though. I don't know if he's being serious. I think it's a bit, right? It's, it's, this is a bit, right? Green What's happening? He's doing classic conspiracy theory. He's linking a bunch of things together that uh, just aren't linked. Let's watch this. Hook, line, and sinker. Mm, set that damn hook, baby. What is this? Is it very? What is this? All right, look, I know the community is on fire right now, and regardless of what side of the fence you're on, let's talk about the base reason why we have this kind of patch implemented this early in the game. And we're not going to talk about what the feelings are or anything. We're going to talk about the real reason why we've got this patch. So a couple of things I want to knock out right now so that I don't see this in the comments, because a lot of y'all have a bad habit of immediately running to the comments before watching the whole video. You shouldn't do that. You should at least watch the video before you comment. First of all, patches are necessary. Balancing is necessary. I understand this. I'm not here to attack why we have a patch, why we have balanced patches, why we have balancing this, that, the other, whatever. It is necessary to the core of a game to keep the game balanced. I understand that. I acknowledge that. I accept that. True. Move on. True. Number two, I understand a lot of y'all are still having fun with the game. That is fantastic, y'all. You should be having fun with the game. You paid money for it. If you're not having fun with the game, I sympathize with you also. Okay? We're not here to divide people any further with that. Okay? Number three, a lot of y'all are going to accept mediocrity. Totally fine. We're not going to do it here on this channel. We're not going to accept mediocrity and wait 10 years for another thing. Okay? We're not going to do that here. So now that that's out of the way, let's okay, dive true, down fair into enough. why actually this was released. So the first thing we need to remember is this is a publicly traded corporation, conglomerate, massive business, whatever you want to call it, okay? This is not Blizzard North, as much as we want it to be Blizzard North, a company that made badass games, badass itemizations, badass storyline, and cared about the player base, this ain't it. Those days are long gone. That ship has done sailed. It is 2023. I'm guilty of it myself. I always think we're, we're playing Blizzard North games. We ain't, okay? Let's get that out of the way. The reason that we have a patch for seasons, okay, let's back up a little bit. The reason that we have seasons, in the beginning, it was so we could have fun. We could have new content and engage and do new stuff, whatever. Be competitive, have a leaderboard, have bragging rights. None of that exists today. We have no leaderboard. We have no rewards besides cosmetics. We have no nothing, okay? <laughs> the reason that we have seasons in the modern day today is quarterly seasons, that's very important, is to show the shareholders positive player retention, positive player numbers. Now, implement a battle pass on top of that. Now you report positive player numbers and positive income because you sold this battle pass to everybody, okay? Every single quarter. I know I talk about this. Well, like I don't know. I feel like quarters are just also a metric like of time that makes sense for seasons. I mean, how, would you want there to be two seasons per year? No. Three seasons per year? Not enough. Four seasons per year? Okay, now we're talking. Five seasons per year? Up with that probably still, I think. Six seasons per year, that's probably too much. That's once every two months. That's too much. That's not, that's too much. Too much. So I think the number that makes sense would be four or five seasons. So I feel like they just picked, okay, well, if we do four and then do high quality, hopefully, right? <laughs> I think the thing is just a number makes sense. A number makes sense. Do you think three to four even? Okay, well, you get the idea. I feel like that number, so you could, you could try and link the two. Um, and maybe that, that does match up with like what they, maybe it does match up with the business side as well. But I feel like realistically, how many seasons do you want per year? I, I definitely don't think it's one, two. I, it's definitely not one or two, right? Cause that'd be six months. Uh, I mean like one season per year would be 12 months, two seasons, six months. Um, Stop still making blizzard and cringe pathetic. What I'm saying is four seasons per year is a reasonable number. 
I think three to four seasons per year is a reason. Three is fine, four is fine. I think they're both fine. I think they're both good. I think they're both good. So ultimately, this argument, I don't think, uh, stands on its own two feet, is what I'm saying. What he's, the argument he's making, certainly I'm sure it could go into it, but I just don't think that's like, literally the only reason we have seasons that are quarterly is because shareholders and money. Uh, you know, I think they would, they would think, they, I'm sure, I mean, you would hope they would ask, okay, what's the best amount of seasons per year? What do you guys think? And then they would have sat down, they would have done what I did, right? They would have had a board and they would have said, like, look at the pros, and then maybe this would have been a pro on that board. Uh, but then again, I don't know if the designers even thinking about that, you know, yeah. But yeah, okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Actual... Are you, um... Are you guys, um... Are you guys brain dead? Chat! Okay, you're making an ARPG. You, you've got hundreds of millions of dollars. How many seasons are you doing per year? The guy said watching the entire video, you're the cringe commentator you refer to. Shut the ability to go one. A lot, but now you report positive player numbers and positive income because you sold this battle pass to everybody, okay? Every single quarter. I know I talk about this a lot, but this is the reason why we have what we have. Guys, these devs no. ain't incompetent. I was no. thinking that yesterday, and I snapped out of it. I said, there's no way they're this incompetent. Are they maybe not as creative? Maybe. Are they maybe not as skilled? Maybe. But they're not incompetent. These are semi-intelligent, pretty intelligent folks. Bro, I, did you see some of the shit? Like, look at the stash tab. Look at the stash tabs, bro. How, okay. That, look, look at the item level requirements that we had initially on release. But what, what, I don't know, I don't know, there's some really basic shit that to me is like question mark, question mark, question mark, how does that even make it into the game? Like how does it make it into the game? And either they are deliberately letting something get into the game as a problem to then fix it, but that doesn't make sense because you would rather have the game come out in the best state possible to have the best reviews and the best experience possible, right? I think intentionally releasing the game with like massive problems deliberately so then they can fix it to farm karma or something. I don't think that works either. I think that I think that just to me says incompetence. Or not incompetence, but just not enough time, right? And they were forced to release it early. Now that I, okay. Do I think that some in suits were like, you are releasing this game on this date, okay? And then they were just like, all right, ship it. Yes, I think that happened. I think that happened. I think that, I'm not some paranoid mother I think that they've deliberately like Illuminati confirmed four seasons per year because shareholders and all shit. But no, I definitely think that they had a time that they had to ship the game because I don't think the game should have been shipped when it was shipped. It seems like they, they there's a massive void and where there should be something where there is nothing. And I think that is because the fact they didn't have enough time. They are shackled and limited by what upper management allows them to do. I firmly believe that if they had their way, we'd have a fun game. But they're limited by Captain Malignant Tunnel and his bosses, okay, into making a cash grab monetization game. So you saw what they did with Diablo Immortal, and that didn't fly. So now seasons in this modern state, and don't come in the comments and say, well, Hank, seasons have been around in Diablo for 20 years. I get that. I already addressed that. I'm talking about today, Diablo 4. I'm not talking about Diablo 3, Diablo 2, Diablo 2 Resurrected, Diablo 1, Diablo Immortal. I'm talking about Diablo 4. The reason that seasons are put in, the reason that this patch is like this is now, is all tied together. This patch is to kill the Eternal Realm. Don't get it mistaken. Shaco Gate was an attempt to kill the Eternal Realm. They could have easily taken back 100, 142 Shakos with no problem. You would have had 142 angry people versus thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of- Oh, this guy's- uh, Okay, this guy's a conspiracy theorist, bro. He's, I don't know if it's a bit, though. I don't know if he's being serious. I think it's a bit, right? It's, it, this is a bit, right? This whole thing, like, the big corporations trying to force us four seasons per year because the shareholders, uh, you know, with the Shaco gate. Like, I don't know, dude. This- it's angry people, okay? So, they want to kill the Eternal Realm. How come that doesn't make sense? Why would they want to kill the Eternal Realm? Why? Money. Can't sell what? the Battle Pass in the Eternal Realm. And I know a simple solution would be let the Battle Pass be available 
but then they couldn't rotate different skins in for you to buy. There wouldn't be something new for your fear of missing out to trigger for you to go spend your green. What's happening? He's doing classic conspiracy theory shit. He's linking a bunch of things together that just aren't linked. Um, that's the reality here. The Shaco thing was just a bug that went into the game. No, the Shaco, bro. The Shaco thing was a bug that went into the game and then they fixed it and then they were like, "Dude, it was 140. We'll leave it." Because that, they just that's what, that's what I thought. No, that's why it's a bug. It's not a sh it's not intentional. It wasn't some psyop where they're like, okay, we're gonna deliberately release a bunch of shakos into the eternal realm to make diminish the value of the uber uniques to make everyone fucking hate eternal realm. So then that way they can look forward to seasons. No, that was a bug. That was a bug. Okay, and then they fixed the bug. Now, sh for sure, if you go, if you look at any motivation from blizzard you will genuinely be able to trace that motivation back to money that because money talks money makes everything move yes you can and this is like from almost most things in life and most things in business you can trace it back to money but trying to link things that are not linked like the shako like oh like oh they don't want to do season pass and, and turn around because they're gonna make less money all this stuff they're just you, you're, you're connecting links that just aren't there that's and that's the thing that's the thing with conspiracy theories you make these big leaps you make these big leaps money on you understand every three months there will be a new battle pass and a new season with the guise of introducing new concepts new things which in reality y'all the malignant tunnels is a re-skinned dungeon there's nothing special there the gems we're taken straight out of Diablo Immortal, which was taken straight out of Path of Exile, which a lot of y'all- Okay, dude, this is this stupid. That's like saying, oh, there's the, like the content in like fucking, I mean, obviously that's not the Dell scale, but like, oh, Dells are just reskin maps. And then they're just mobs are just taken out of maps that already exist, which were just stolen from Diablo 2. It's not even a new thing. Like, no, dude. Bro, no, dude. Stop. 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 S literally stop they're, they're adding dude they've got an npc that is original dialogue with some shit story that i don't care about the point is no there is actual content there okay shut up like that to say gems were stolen from the other model which was stolen from poe the diablo model gems weren't anything like Pee gems. They're not even the same system. Like, this guy's making dog shit points. These points are trash, okay? Do you really think that the Diablo model gems are the same as the PUE gems? Oh, they're both called gems? So therefore they're the same? Like, and on top of that, the Diablo model gems aren't even the same as the D4 gems. They're closer to the D3 gems. If you're gonna make a comparison, like... All said, which came straight out of World of Warcraft. There's nothing new, nothing innovative there. There's, have you seen the uniques? The Spear of Lycander came straight out of D3. It's literally the exact same item. Okay, guys, guys. What, what the fuck is he saying? What the fuck is he saying, bro? What the fuck is, what the fuck is he saying, bro? What the, I'm so confused what he's saying. Like, okay, every, bro. Oh my God, dude, the Battlefield game that came out, it had the fucking AK-47 in it, bro. Which is like from Counter Strike. It's not even you. It's the exact same item, dude. Oh, this game it had the Panzer tank in it, and that's not the game had the tank in it. It's the exact same thing. It's the exact. Bro, the items. Yes, they're using the same. It's a reference to a previous item that was in another game, but they do two different entire things. It's called a. Uh, uh, what do they call that? When you do a shout out, it's a, it's like an Easter egg item. Yes, when Th Bl Thunder Fury Bliss Blade of the Windseeker was put into Diablo 3. Okay, yes, it was a f uh, Easter egg or a homage, okay, to World of Warcraft. It's not the exact same item. No, it was a f cool item that actually exists in D3, and it was one of the, my favorite items, actually. I like Thunder Fury. Okay, that's Pong Champ. To say Thunder Fury is shit because it was in World of Warcraft. It's just like brain dead. It's brain dead. It's brain dead. It's brain like straight up. Same everything. The Oculus. You seen an Oculus from Diablo 2? If you never played Diablo 2, go to Google and search the Oculus Diablo 2. You'll see what a real item looks like, right? 
That's not, that's not the reason that we go do this. This Mickey Mouse stuff that we're looking forward to, the malignant hearts, like my malignant tunnel. They want you to go spend your money on the battle pass. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills sometimes. Y'all don't see this. You are, you are, you are taking crazy pills. And then they know the patch is so bad. Okay, capitalism, dude. Yes, yo, people are trying to make money, dude. Wait, dude, dude, <laughs> dude you're so based. You're so based, dude. Oh, my God, dude. What the f This is crazy. This is, dude, do you know that the people are trying to make money? Dude, you know when they sold us D2, they were trying to make money from selling D2? Do you guys know that? That was, they were trying to make, do you know they were trying to take your money? They were trying to make a game that was compelling and fun and good, and then they were trying to get you to buy it because they were trying to actually make money? Do you know that that was their job? Yeah, I don't know, dude. That they have to schedule an emergency live stream. It's not a campfire chat. They're not outside. They're not camping. It's nerds in the office. It's a live stream. <laughs> They, they schedule this, trying to put out the fire, but after <laughs> oh the God. season. Well, do you want to know why <laughs> that's the after fuck? the launch of the season? This is what they're going to look at on Thursday. Okay, there's two two paths that we're going to oh, take. Yeah. Everything's on fire or everything's cool. If everybody logs on to the season and plays, even though they don't like am, any of the, the balance patches or anything they're log seeing. Log in. Which everyone's going to do because nobody has a backbone to stand up for themselves anymore. Pussy. They're just going to play anyway. You already play seen well, the pussy. comments. Oh, yeah, you guys say you're not playing seasons, but we'll all see you there. That's what's the problem with the world today. Nobody has any backbone. Everybody's spineless. If you are pissed off. No, no, you can think. Okay, no, no. I've already drawn the graph. I can draw the graph again. Okay, do you know why I'm pissed off, right? You know I'm pissed off, right? Okay, this is what we expect, right? These are normal patches. For, these are normal major patches for games. Right? Sometimes you have a big one. Sometimes you have a really big one, right? Okay, this and then this is the first major patch for first major patch for D4. Okay. And this this meter, by the way. This is meter, by the way. These are, these are the different patches. These are the different patches. Okay, and this is the hype level. So we we're expecting a line like this, right? We're expecting some sort of line like this, and then we got that, right? We got that. So now we're Raging, now we're mad. Now, don't get me wrong, this patch is still a net positive. Overall, this patch is a good thing for the game. They did more good than they did bad. Like, literally, if they'd done no patch, it would have been worse. The fact of the matter is they did a patch, which is nice. Uh, it's just a complete trash one, and which is why the disparity between what we're expecting and what we got is like... Oh, bro! Are you kidding me? Dude, they killed boosting! Boosting was trash for the game. They fixed several bugs they f they made it so you could trade gear to your alts and stuff there was plenty of good things in this patch the game was far too easy and they're making it harder relatively speaking yes no overall the patch in my opinion from what i can tell initially just by looking at it is overall a very slight they very slightly i think they slightly maybe up just ahead in terms of things they did that are good for the game versus things they did that made the game worse in my opinion and then they're slightly ahead Right, but what we're expecting is this, right? We're expecting, we're we're expecting this line up the top here, and what we got is that, which is why it's like it's like they took a shit on us, right? And it makes you think, well, okay, now that we've seen what the patch looks like, what are we gonna expect for the future, right? Okay, that's patch one. Does every does is every patch gonna be complete dog shit? Are all major patches gonna be dog shit? Is the is the game dead? Is Diablo dying? Uh, because what I want, I want, I want. I want ramping, bro. I want big dick patches, and I want to see a huge... I want this game to go from a 6.7 to a 8 out of 10 game. I don't want to see it go just sit there and whittle away. Right? That's the reality. Okay, anyway. About this product and what they're selling you, give it the Diablo Immortal treatment. Don't play it. You're not going to waste your damn Battle okay. Pass token. Diablo Immortal was fundamentally... Uh, fundamentally net negative to anyone who played that game and it straight up was predatory and it's designed to take lots of money from vulnerable individuals who have bad uh spending control and 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 to a lower iq that's the reality that's 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 what it is that's what it is that's the, that game okay that game was straight up predatory and it, and it was gambling simulator disguised as a computer game right and sold under the diablo ip it was a travesty the game okay diablo 4 is not that 
Diablo 4, yeah, okay, maybe it's a bit pricey, a bit premium and for what it is and everything, and maybe it's like could be better and all that, but it is not that, okay? There's there's complete there is a reason to boycott Diablo Immortal. The fact of the matter is there's not some crazy reason to boycott Diablo 4. It's just like, oh, it's more shit than I wanted to be. Let me boycott it. No, it's still good. Even after this patch, it's still good. And I'm still gonna play it. Even if even season two, I'm gonna play it, right? Even depending on like I don't know, we'll have to see what the patch notes look like. But I'm still gonna play it. Okay, and if you've already done the ultimate edition, save it. Oh yeah, not to mention with the addition of this, they are limiting you. So if you wonder why cooldowns been nerfed, damage reduction's been nerfed, time in dungeons has been nerfed. Oh, newsflash, why there's a cap on world tier three and world tier four capstones? They want that was a bug, right? And they go, they're getting rid of that. What's gone? We just read the patch notes. That's gone. So I want you to stay in the game as long as possible and not complete the season journey too fast. Because guess what? Then you're gonna go play Baldur's Gate. Then you're gonna go play Starfield. Then you're gonna go play something else. So they we're gonna play Baldur's Gate regardless when that game comes out. We're gonna play Starfield regardless when that shit comes out. Okay, bro. It's not like like they, dude. They, when that shit comes out, everyone's logging out, bro. Okay, that's not that. Oh shit! I've still got some shit on my seasonal journey. I'm gonna just not play this most anticipated title of like the last five years, bro. Holy shit! They had to literally wipe everything. If they did not release a patch like this, and they let you keep your eternal character that you've been farming for 200x no, hours or whatever cares about amount eternal, of time. Nobody cares about eternal characters, buddy. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. That you've got Tempest Roar, that you've got all this other stuff. Nobody cares about Tempest Roar. They're not going to let you keep that because you'll get bored. You won't play it. Bro, Especially if you're getting if you're getting rallied behind what this guy's saying, he's like a, he has like a literal... They just trying to take you out again, man. You want to let them come and hit that guy dip? We get no right time. We earned this here. We earned all this here. You gotta let them come right here. You're rallying behind some guys. Like his arguments are not based on logic. Okay. No, no. Eternal realms of dog shit. Seasons are good for the game. The fact that they have four seasons of years just because the fact that four seasons makes the most sense from a practical standpoint for ARPGs. He's just making all this bullshit up to try and rally a bunch of clowns behind him. And if you're gonna sit there and bandwagon onto this guy's shit whenever he's not he's using basic levels of logic uh you're an idiot like you're a moron see after the nerf they know that's the reality that if they nerf everything they i turn off standard sucks seasons are great now should the season have come out when it came out no let's be honest here season one should have been the game should have came out later season one should have shipped with the game with all the quality of life stuff that's in season one uh, and then season, we should, a couple months from now should be when season one, the true season one should have started. The reality is, it's starting in an hour from now or something. Uh, and Blizzard f***ed up, and, you know, you can't go back in time. They can't go back in, you can't go back in time. Well, quality of life, being able to trade gear to your ults, um, so you can, you can now trade items. Uh, we're gonna get stash pace for sure, they're gonna add in stash pace, there's no way, there is no way we don't all get stash pace. There's just no way, there's no way. You're more likely to go, well, I got to start all over anyway. I might I'm as like well start over on a new tune and go play Seasons. Hook, line, and sinker. Mm, set that damn hook, baby. Regardless of what your stance is on the patch. Doesn't matter. Please, take a look at yourself and ask this question. Okay, just get some parity. Is it okay to accept mediocrity? For green leafy spending money, that for some it's easy to come by money, but for others it's not easy to come by money. It takes a lot of hard work. Are you okay with spending that? It's very easy. It's just a question of how much you value your money and time versus like what you want to do. You either do it or you don't do it, buddy. It's pretty simple. It's you just do it or you don't want to. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it. If you want to do it, then do it. This is literally it's that simple. It really is. That money on an absolute dressed up piece of dog shit that they're constantly having to defend. I personally don't think this game is up to Diablo standards. That's just my opinion. I'm not saying don't go play it. Have you bought it's just it? the way that it is. Have you bought it? Let me know in the comments below what you think. I mean, have you bought, have you bought it, bro? Because if you've bought it, then guess what? Like, you can't refund it at this point. And that means you've got it. So now the question is, do you, would you rather like go fishing or play season one of Diablo 4? Now, if you want to go fishing, then go fishing. If you want to go fishing then go fishing okay if you want to play d4 then play d4 right it's pretty simple all right if you want to you know
Unfortunately, I'm sure a lot of y'all won't like this, but that is the reason that we have <sighs> an eternal realm killing patch the very beginning of the game. I said around with dog shit, bro. Nobody likes like, standing mode is cringe. Like, lo you can feel free to stay alone and understand it, buddy. Feel free. Make all of us leave and go park our ass in season and show their shareholders they're profitable. Appreciate y'all. Make sure to hit like and subscribe for more content. We'll see you next time. Coking, dude. Dude, we got conspiracy theorists leaking into the Diablo 4 section now. That's what we got. We got conspiracy theorists logging into Diablo 4 section. Because he is. God damn.